Welcome back. You're now tuning into the other side, the other side of sports. It's your host, Laws in the building. It's me, it's Aaron. We in this joint rocking out. You already know. D about to be back. We in football season. So, you know, he gonna be back with us. We're gonna be talking football, getting into it heavy. Training camp has started. Uh, got a lot of stuff on tap for the day. Uh, not gonna waste a whole lot of time time. Before I get into that, dog, young, bro. Hey, son, times has changed, bro. Times has changed. <laughs> dog, when you got a kid, young, that joke just ch- You be all out of element, dog. So I don't know whose great idea it was, dog, to go buy a fish for Harley, dog. We went into <laughs> the Pet Smart, dog, got a fish. What day was this? This was on. <laughs> This is Saturday, Sunday night. Saturday night, we got the fish, dog. Saturday night, and it's with the fi- and the fight. <laughs> so one question: Is the we fish got- still alive? Hey, young. <laughs> this man was called, <laughs> this man was called L's in the first twenty. So, no, I ain't know, young. I ain't know how to dog. I ain't know how you supposed to do this whole demonstration, dog. Back in my day, young, you go to the carnival, you get the fish. You bring them babas home. You throw them in a bowl of water, and then the babas, they just survive, dog. I don't Everybody's know how. salted now. That's what y'all say, right? No, the, the fish young babas are salted. Salt. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fish did you get? Like, apparently, these jokers is tropical type jokes because these babas ain't make it to they ain't make it forty eight hours, dog. Look, Qatar call called me, dog. <laughs> Qatar called me for work. I thought I thought she was crying. I'm like, young babs. The fish were floating at the top. I'm like, oh my gosh, dog. No. I'm like, young, she's like, we got to get all this stuff. I'm like, oh my goodness, young. These babs is costing it. King Gripper out here. Dog, you got to get the filter. You got to get the jump to clean the bottom of the tank. Oh, so you, you got a fish tank, not a fish bowl like that they threw the goldfish in. No. You got a real no. live tank. Bro, this junk got a this junk got a thermometer inside the junk. I'm like, young, where where the hood fish at, dog? That just survive anything. This junk ridiculous, dog. Whole time Harley, she just be like, <laughs> we she ain't really tripping off the fish catching the L's. She's just like, like, are we getting any more fish, daddy? I'm like, I don't know. We got to do something. So did you at least make sure that it was freshwater fish and they were in freshwater or salt water? So so this this go around dog because I get dog trial and error, young. That's how that's how you all learn, dog. So this go around, we took the we took the joint up to the pest mall. We had Bama test the water. They gave us water. I mean, this joint is a cold. I'm about to open up a a a pet store, dog, because it's a it's a cold racket. Biggest scale, bro. Dog, these I had to buy the water, the joint. The, the drops that go in the water to make sure that the, the joint is right. Got by the temperature stick that go on the side of the joint. You got to get the, the filter to go in it and make sure that the water's filtered out. The joint to get the get all the, the crumbs and anything at the bottom of the tank to, to filter it out. I'm like, young, where the fish that just survive out in Forest Creek, dog? Just where them fish at? So we got the Jones. I ain't been upstairs yet. Them the second batch might have caught an L too. I ain't. Oh, I y'all ain't, got more joints. Yeah, dog. We had to, bro. We had to. So I don't know if the second batch is still alive. But I'm gonna I'm gonna check on them and see. But then you know, like, cause this is the thing with a kid, they don't understand. Yeah, I think Harley overfed them babas the first go around because she just like was sice to had them Jones and just dump That's all the fish going. food in. It. That's what I was gonna ask you. Did she have access to him? Like, can she reach over to where she could feed him at will? Yeah, dog. So I, I don't know, dog. Apparently, the, the water was too acidic. Them bamas caught L's. I don't. It just it, it, it was. It so was did they wild. tell you to let the tank run for a week before you put the fish in, or they just wanted to make a sale? Yeah. So so this is the thing. The fit we got the fish from a friend of ours. So. Them fish ain't oh, even belong to us, dog. So, oh. so I don't know how we got break the news, young. I don't know if I, I ain't still ain't called them yet and told them the first the first Jones court. They, know now. Yeah, they <laughs> know now. They know now, dog. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. When you put the new water in, you gotta let the nitrites get converted to yeah. nitrate. So you gotta yeah. let it run for a week and then put the fish in the drink. Yeah, dog. I mean, all things I'm learning, dog. I told you when I was a kid, we go to the carnival. Bama, you know, I I had I could I always had the arm um, through pinpoint accuracy, Jones. Like, oh yeah, you can get one of these prizes. I'm like, yeah, I always got the fish. 
took them jumps home. A week later, them jumps was forgotten about, dog. They was no filter, Nemo no nothing. They done. just live in that drink, the goldfish. That's it, bro. That's it. So, you know, learning experience. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, on to some sports. We're going to start here, dog. Jim Ursay says no trade coming for Jonathan Taylor. Bama go t- talks to the media at the at the training camp, Jones. It's like, if I die, Jonathan Taylor die, the show goes on. It don't really matter. It was it was distasteful, dog. I I, I mean, am He's I drunk? I'm not surprised, dog. I'm not surprised. The Bama was caught doing hard drugs in a hotel, butt naked with like you know what I'm saying. So the Bama's OC, we already know that. But like, you can't try to. I, it just does not. If you're trying to change the culture of your football franchise from like losing to winning. And you talk like this, this does not bode well for the morale around the team or anybody trying to like really put their they life on the line to help this franchise be winners. Like, and and I know that this trust me, Jim Ursay didn't say anything different than any one of the other 31 owners would say, but to say it publicly, it's just then he gonna have the, the audacity to just be like, I mean, you know, this is not. On us, if you got a problem with it, the collective bargaining agreement was settled, and so basically, that's the route you need to go through. He ain't said that when he was locking Bama's out. These these old heads be funny, and it, it, he shouldn't be saying anything. It should come from a coach, or it should come from the GM. He shouldn't be talking about football at all. I don't even know why they're asking this Bama questions. Probably because they know he's drunk enough to answer them. They know but, he's a, he's dumb enough to be out there just talking reckless. And now they lost the, the other running back on the team. Right now, Deion Jackson, the only healthy running back on the, on the roster right now. And, you know, it looks like Jonathan Taylor going to start out on a pup list. It seems like they're doing funny business like was what was happening in Washington where they make up stories. Apparently it was a rumor. JT's back was messed up and they were going to try to, you know, like if you're on a pup list, you still get paid. But if you're on a non not able to perform list or something like that, then they can hold your salary and not pay you. So it, it's just a whole lot of funny business that's happening with this whole situation. And it this is just, yeah, I I don't like none of it, dog. I don't like none of it. But Jim Arce gonna find out very quick. He gonna find out that players do matter. And, and not you don't really care fun. if they trash anyway. So when you get the owners that don't care if their team wins or not, mm-hmm. then they'd rather play chess and win this battle than actually try to play chess and win a football game. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, clearly, you don't care about winning. That's that's evident. To try to slander what arguably is your best player on your, your roster, to try to, like, um, you know, demean him and, and minimize his – his, his impact on your team just shows that winning is the last thing on your priority list. That your ego and, and being, you know, out front and having your way is more important than anything else. And, I mean, that that's just how losing franchises continue to be losing franchises. So, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, I hope you – I mean, apparently they're, they're entertaining trades – now I, I i don't know i guess the backlash kind of pushed them into a corner but they're not going to get running backs aren't valued the same way anymore so they definitely not getting a first round pick for jonathan taylor um whereas maybe years ago he probably would definitely be worth the first round pick it's just the the running back market just doesn't have as much value as it once did so that's that's probably not gonna happen so i don't would think you trade uh what's y'all f- everybody favorite banner they got shot in the knee that y'all swear Brian that. Robinson, Brian Robinson, and uh, Antonio Gibson for Jonathan Taylor. Yes, I would. Right now, yes. Is wrong because 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 honestly, I think them Bamas together are the same. Per, like, and you probably get more production out of JT, but like, I know he hasn't been like the the pass catching back that you would probably want. But from like a running standpoint and his ability, I mean, the Bama's a game breaker. So 
I, Pure I running, would, he's probably the best runner right now in the league. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, yeah, I would do it though. I would do it. I would do it. Um, I feel like you have enough pieces on this roster, though. We're loaded. You got Chris Sant, you got uh, uh, Samuels, you got you got other guys you can use like in that little gadget area where you know where you would have Antonio uh, Gibson used and stuff like that. So if you got a, a pure runner who's at the top of his game. Yeah, why not? Why not? Um, I just don't think that they would go for it. Uh, other news. Stephen A. Smith calls Kim K. a prostitute, though. And he, and he called the mom a pimp. Did, is this a confirmed, did you hear it with your own ears or see this clip? Well, he, well he, he apologized. Stephen A. Smith apologized for for and called it a, a clerical error. I mean, I don't know what that is, but he he did he did back say say this. Um, so I just I mean he's a pot since apologized and kind of backed off of it or whatever whatever. I think this was just Stephen A. I always say you you heard me say this several times, Aaron. When somebody has a microphone or a platform and they're and they're they're job is to talk all the time you're going to say some reckless stuff it just i mean in the world that we live in where things is like kind of sensationalized or people trying to get that next clickbait and he he top of the list trying to do the clickbait and try to get you know bring in eyes and stuff so they say the wildest stuff so i to me this is not surprising that he jumped out jumped out the window but but just know kim k got them dollars dog and she can get you you sense it in a heartbeat, dog. I don't care what she is. Yeah, she was out here thotting, went through the whole NBA and all like that. But she got that bread sticks to get get stuff moving and shaking when she when she deems that's important to her. What's your thoughts? I don't really have any. I know what he's trying to say. I mm -hmm. mean, she does basically sell sex to the community, and she's responsible for. I would say 70% of the culture that goes on now, all of the girls walk around trying to look like Kim Kardashian and try to... That's a fact. You know what I mean? So I get what he's saying. Is that a tasteful thing to say? Especially for Obama, who job is to talk about sports. Like, why are you even over there in that realm? How are you going to get in trouble on your day <laughs> off? It's like, <laughs> you, <laughs> you're not even talking about what you're supposed to be talking about when you get in trouble. So... Bama just try to find anything, yeah. dog. Bama just... Go, just I, I feel like Stephen A, the type of Bama dog, because you know what kind of Bama he is, dog. Get wet all the way. So I feel like he'd be in his house and be watching TV and be like, oh, I got to go live and just. just I know what you know I can what say to make the, the <laughs> bros and everybody, you know what I mean, side yeah. with me. And then that joint just was end up being a dud. Like if he would have said the comments about the mom alone, that probably could have flown because she basically was trying to negotiate the sex tape mm -hmm. price and how much they was going to get and all that. But when you, when you, Add that other layer, you know, people get sensitive about that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you you absolutely right, dog. You absolutely right. Um, yeah. So I mean, he ain't get canceled. Which, not yet. Yeah, not yet, but he retracted that joint ASAP, though. I'll tell you that much. That yeah, no like, ESPN nah. making cuts. Yeah, and luckily they desperate and good, don't have no good. content. Because <laughs> without him. <laughs> It'll be a rap city in the basement, dog. Dog, everybody coming for Sean Payton because he called the 20, 2020, it's not 21, the 22 Broncos the worst coach team ever and kind of cited Nathaniel Hackett as being responsible for the status of the team. And, and everybody is all up in arms, dog. I'm trying to figure out what did he say wrong? You know it's not about that, though. What's it about, Aaron? The, the white power structure protects the white power structure. And Hackett is another NFL coach that represents the mass of layer, the overseers, and, and that's just what it is. They stick together. No matter how bad uh, a coach is, they always, at least when it comes to these kind of coaches, they always kind of stick up for them. You see them find another job almost immediately after, whether they go to OC or, or DC or some role on the team they find to get they you know and get these guys back working mm -hmm. even when they do a, a terrible job. Meanwhile, they'll 
destroy players, slander players, make up stuff, leak stuff to negotiate contracts. You see how they handle players. It's just, it's a buddy system, a good old boy system, and and, and that's what they do. So when you see a coach that kind of breaks almost like the blue wall and come out and say, no, this Batman was terrible, then other coaches looking like, damn, that's accountability. Like, we don't want to mess up what we got going. We protect each other. That's kind of how they look at it, and that's why everybody mad. Not that he Mm-hmm. They probably would agree with what he said, just don't say it publicly. Yeah, you can't. You can't, yeah. The thing is, yeah, I I respect Sean Payton for saying it, dog. And they probably just caught him in a very candid moment where he was just like talking regular, and then he was like, "Man, this Bama messed the whole front." Because they, you know, they they asked him like, you know, what are you, what are the things you have to change, and blah blah. And that's like, if you come home and the house is a complete mess, you like, dang, dog, I got it. I got to clean up before I can even do the construction. (laughs) Before I even do do any, oh, well, I got, the Babbins left a mess in this room. I just bought the house, dog, and they left a mess here. These Babbins don't even live here no more. They can have the decency to clean this junk out because I'm sure that junk was just, uh, they, you know, players was running amok. You know, stuff they were saying, like the Babbins, uh, Russell Wilson had his own offices and Babbins was looking like he was the GM in the junk, just like you got to change all of that. And some of that stuff can be difficult to change. Like once you have no accountability for a certain amount of time and you try to come in and, and switch that up, it's just harder. So he probably was just frustrated. Like, man, this bad my head. I think what he also was doing is protecting himself in case it goes terrible. His first year. Okay. Like it's so <laughs> bad over here. Cause it's no, it's really no reason to come out and say that publicly. It's not uh, like his back was against the wall, and he, you know what I mean. Yeah, he volunteered that information, so I feel like it's him being slick, trying to make sure you know if stuff doesn't go well, if I don't live up to my reputation when I was with Drew Brees, this is the reason why. Yeah, it's it's yeah he he been he trying to get himself a, a built in excuse. I mean, I yeah, it's one of them things. It's like, come on, Sean, but I. No, week five. I I'm ready right now for week five. They they I hope they flex that jump so we can see that jump. Why would you even want to see that? The Jets is gonna wash these bands. It's not even a fair. No, play. you think the Jets gonna wash them? No, oh, Jets gonna be one of so. the best teams in the league this year. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Though. We can put wings on it. Why are we on the record? Uh, I yeah, let's six and a half points. Yeah, okay, yeah, six and a half. Oh, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. No, Sean Payton not about to go out here after talking to trash and go out here and get washed by the Jets. He don't play dog. football. It's not about... But the team, the team ain't that trash. I mean, they lost Tim Patrick to the injury. They they still got weapons, dog. The team is not, not, not that bad. It's not that bad, dog. We'll see. Come I, week if he had, if he had a different, a different squad, I'd be like, yeah, you know, I'd be like, yeah, maybe you're right. But yeah, I, I just don't, I don't see it happening, dog. I don't see it happening. I think, I think, I think the uh, Broncos gonna give them all they can handle. Yeah, that's just my opinion. But we, we got the win. The yeah, they're gonna win the game, dog. Oh, so you don't need the six and a half points. You just taking the. Uh... The money line. The money line. Yeah, I got. Yeah, okay. I got. I got the Broncos winning the money line, dog. <laughs> you just anti-Jets and anti-Tuck. That's what this is. No, no hold on, time about... out. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Hold on, time out. First of all, so I do think that the we. I mean, we talked about this at length in, in one of the other shows, but I don't. I think the Jets are good, but I don't. I don't necessarily like. I think they're a little bit overhyped in the sense that. What the expectation for them to do, I just don't think that it a lot of times the expectation for people to like teams to win this the similarly to when LeBron and D Way and Chris Bosch all linked up the first one, season. Two chips. Oh hold on, hold on, hold season. on. <laughs> the first season, Bama's was like young, it's automatic, these Bama's gonna win, win, whatever. And then Bama's lost to lesser opponent in it, in it, you know what I'm saying? But did they get there? Yeah, they got there. I just think that it's similar to that in the sense that they won't 
necessarily right away live up to the expectations that are set before them. And what I mean by that is like everybody got them already like in the playoffs and stuff like that. But I, I could see a situation where they missed the playoffs. Like, I mean, I just could see that scenario. And I guess you could say that about any team, but I, I just don't I, – I don't know that – we've been to paper chance before, dog. We've been to paper chance before. Who was we? The Washington Commanders, though. Wait, wait, wait. Are you comparing them garbage ass Rosses that that <laughs> that special needs Washington fans tried to tried to elevate to be uh championship caliber teams to this squad who was already like that with a garbage, garbage quarterback? No. You never had this kind of talent here in Washington all you over. Ne- you never we never we never had that kind of talent though. And know. coaching all at the same time. All at the same time. I, I just, I, when the jump, now, now, okay, in my defense, I was a skeptic when Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay, and I just didn't think it would translate right away because I was like, dog, it's a new team. Woo, 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 woo. And Tom Brady, he shut me up, dog. Batman's the GOAT. He took the team to the chip. That's history. I just, I don't think, I don't think Aaron Rodgers is going to be able to do it, dog. And the thing is, we joking about Hackett, but Hackett is the OC that was uh, his OC when he was in Green Bay. So it's not really a learning curve as much as a new quarterback going to a new team mm-hmm. and having to get acclimated. The, the players already know the offense. Like Aaron Rodgers already knows the offense. So it, it should be more seamless than most quarterbacks going to a brand new team and having to learn a new offense. And even if Aaron Rodgers plays 70% of Aaron Rodgers, that's twice as good as that garbage boy they draft. I I I agree. I agree. Um, I I mean, there's a lot of excitement, dog. You got Method Man out here. All the, dog, all the Jets fans that came out the woodwork. Do now it. Let me is, say, there part, is there part of me that wants to see it all crumble down? If that yes. trade don't work, <laughs> it's going to be pure comedy. No, we, I'm we be know one person <laughs> that's gonna be on the moon if this trade don't work. He trying to act like he don't care now. Oh dog, I don't care. I'm not. Uh, I'm not that. It's not that serious, dog. If these Bamas with all this hype, if they implode. implode. Dog, he's gonna, yeah, he gonna be on suicide watch. <laughs> I, trust and believe. It's over. And I and I might be the culprit for for pushing them there. Cause <laughs> I'm going ham. They don't start out five and zero. Oh, they ain't losing any lowly teams, dog. We'll know by week five what it is, dog. Because what happens is when situations like this. If they start losing and they're not like out the gate smoking and cooking Bamas, which they got a tough, a tough early schedule too, mind you. Though the pressure only goes up, it only gets heavier. It doesn't get lighter, like, oh yeah, like you know, we'll, we'll turn it around. Nah, Bamas is just gonna go ham. And New York media, it's like DC media, but but different. They not taking their foot off the gas, they will have headline news. With the Jets and, and and Aaron Rodgers with his head down or with his laying on the laying on the on the turf with his helmet all coming halfway off, like they don't care, bro. So don't nobody read they, newspapers no more, dog. They, when the Jets is on the front page, they do. We talking about dinosaurs, dog. We, don't nobody worry about what no dinosaur think. <laughs> ain't nobody read no New York Times, or New York Post, <laughs> especially none okay. of the Bama's actually on the field. Newspapers wasn't even out when these Bamas was born, pro. No, I'm telling you, they're going to hear about it. They ain't going to go away quietly. Bamas just ain't, the Jets ain't going to be an afterthought or like, you know, it's not It's definitely going to be a national story. It's going to be a national story every week, no matter what they do, dog. If these Bamas barely lose and Aaron Rodgers throw for 500, they're going to be like, oh, it didn't end up in the in the win column. Like, they're just going to slander. So I'm one of them Bamas like, <laughs> Looking like baby in the back, like it would be hilarious though, <laughs> if the drink don't work. Oh, uh, dog! Speaking of not working, dog. Errol up. Spence catches an L to Terrence Buddy Crawford. Dog, dog. This Bama Terrence Crawford whooped the stew out of Aaron Errol Spence. Dog. <laughs> no, it was I know you post. I know. I know you. No, I was flabbergasted. I know you posted a little thing saying that uh, Errol Spence might have had, you know, traumatic brain injury when he had his, his car accident that was re- like residual effects of it because the Bama looked like the drunken master out that jump, dog. He just, 
He didn't he was, look he right. He was outmatched. He looked like if they fought 10 times, he might not win one fight. His power just like, even uh, Crawford said, like, when he landed one of his joints on on, on the button, flush, he was like, this, he was is, like, it? this is it? <laughs> so it's just like, you could see him, like, with all his might Yo, trying. And, and that's the thing. When a Batman say that, sometimes Batman's be trolling, like, just to be like, oh, no, Batman. No, he I really it. believe him, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, what about it's like, this is it? Like, I truly believe him, bro. Because they usually say it takes him a while to get into the fight. Like, he starts off slow. Mm-hmm. After like the first second round, this Bama turned the switch all the way on and just beat the brakes off him. Yeah, so I believe like he caught the power and was like, "Hold on, I'm not. I ain't got to play defense on this Bama. I'm just gonna go forward." Yeah, he he whooped him, dog. He whooped him from start to finish. I was like, "Bruh, you're not gonna let my man get one round. He yeah. can't get one hit in. This Bama knocked him down four times. Like I just was a Bama who never been knocked down his whole career. He just toyed with, like ragged all this Bama." Ragdolled him, dog. So, I mean, you know, of course, Babbles is throwing out, dog. What if Terrence Crawford fought Floyd in their prime? Like, who will win? It don't like, matter. How do we got to start this, this dog? Yeah. Just let my man have the glory, bro. Just let him chill out. Like, it's it's. First of all, we already know Floyd. It would like that's a he some hypotheticals. I'd be like, Floyd wouldn't even box this Bama right now. Floyd would have waited another two years. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Let some time pass. Then he'd have gotten in the ring with him and, and beat him up, though. Or at least one. He wouldn't have beat him up, but he had just won. Um, Floyd different, bro. And, and He's way I, harder I to hit the, than any of these upper bands. I think the comparing is just, it's just different. And Floyd, he, he has like his own unique style that people take from. So like what Buddy was doing in the jump, the counter punching and how he was counter punching with precision and stuff like that. Like Floyd started all of that. So I just just let my man Terrence Crawford have his glory, just chill out. Like they it's never they're not gonna fight. So those comparisons are just are just dumb. Now the bread um, for that joint would be through the roof. If no, Floyd the decided Bama Floyd is he's 40 years old. Terrence Crawford 35. If the Bama decided to took the bread, <laughs> if Floyd decided, you know what, I could cash because you know they say he'd be blowing through his money, that's why he keep doing little events. Oh, they real? could get a they could get a hundred mil. Oh, easy, easy. easy. They I mean, get Floyd mil. could get a hundred mil. Like yeah. Floyd could take home a hundred mil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred mil, easy. They might get two hundred. That's a, mil, that's bro. that's a hard number to turn down. You they, know, Floyd thinking about it. He was at the fight. He like, no, oh, this is the thing. You getting hot the box. You okay? So you get ninety ninety five dollars ninety dollars off the paper. Eighty five. I think I paid that drink for that garbage fight. That's what I'm saying. Ninety dollars off the pay per view after taxes and fees, hundred. Then you got so at least a, a million, twenty million people going to buy the buy the uh, buy the pay per view. Then you gonna have at least how how much the uh, Vegas Stadium hold like the door. fifty thousand. I don't think it's that much. It's probably like a arena 20, drink. 20,000? Probably, probably somewhere there. Somewhere south of 20. 20,000 at let's just let's just say the average ticket is 250. 20,000 at 250, that's a lot of bread, dog. That's well over that yeah, they well over the hundreds of millions. So you can easily split that too and then the sponsorships yeah. and all that. Oh my goodness! And dog. Floyd HBO don't have to cut in the middleman because he is he own his own business. So no. the, yeah, he would be kicking yeah, out. Yeah, the cake. Yeah, that he might do. I come out of retirement, dog, and be... <laughs> <laughs> for that kind of bread, this Bama. He definitely thinking bread. about it. You gonna hear murmurings about it, I believe. Even if he doesn't actually do it, he gonna test yeah, the but waters. But Charles ain't got Floyd on his his radar, though, dog. Of course not, but the bread is on the radar, and if you want the bread, you go with the biggest payday. Oh, that's a hell of a payday, dog. You think Floyd could do it? Nah, I think he'd get the shit. I mean, get the... <laughs> Crawford right now would beat the brakes off that old battle. But every time we seen him in the ring, he left Floyd, Victoria, Floyd, so it's hard Floyd, to say. Floyd, but Floyd knows some. He knows some old head tactics, though, dog. But his gift he was might, the he speed. Can survive. He can it's survive. like the Sean Jackson playing football without his speed. You're right. You're like right. that You're is right. what him playing at a different frame rate, like Craig said, is what makes him the best. Because yeah, you can't right. hit this Bama like you really want to. 
Yeah. Now, you're right. as you every year, once you get to a certain age, it's like you lose probably five percent of that drink yeah, to you yeah. a regular and, Joe Blow, but you don't know until Alabama hits you because they never seen you hit. So you wake up 42, 43, 40, It's one day. It's it's too much. <laughs> Them knees don't bounce the same way, dog. The, the shoulders, you wake up and be aching. But the Floyd stay in shape, dog. He stay boxing still. So yeah. it's not like he just be he be sitting down. He don't he he always take care of his body. Don't for the most drink part. like that. Like, don't yeah. smoke. Don't do drugs. So I, I mean, but the, dog, Father Time is undefeated. We've seen it every right. single time. You're right, dog. But that'd be something to see. I pay for that. I pay for it. For I sure. pay to see that. But is it worth your legacy? Because Bama's ain't going to, 20 years from now, they're not going to say, oh, Floyd was 45. They're going to say 50 and 1 instead of the undefeated, best ever. That 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 just changes the conversation. Because yeah. if Terrence go to 41 and 0 and you 50 and 1, Bama but start you, to say, you, you he beat yeah, Floyd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At 50, you, it just, yeah, it just, it may not be worth, the juice may not be worth the squeeze. It but dog, but, but 250 million in your account. That's Powerball right now. <laughs> That's it mega is. millions, Especially dog. The I... Never wearing the same outfit twice. Private jet flying and spinning on all yeah, these. Yeah, dog. He got the easy, MC Hammer That's entourage. Easy, That's an easy rear. But yeah, but you can't. Yeah, you can't go in that jump playing, dog. You got to be in survival mode in that jump because Terrence Crawford, that Bama beat beat the stew out of Errol Spence Jr., dog. What we do, I ain't though. seen a Bama get beat up like that in a minute, though. That was like the schoolhouse beat up jump where Bama felt bad, going on the bus and going to a bus. professional bus. I felt bad, like that. Like, I thought yeah. the ref he saved was, his life, he was on his way to the ancestors because the boy this Bama <laughs> was, was like, it's all yeah. before, <laughs> before he go down and his eyes closed. Yeah, he, yeah, that that Bama had a peanut just. Dangling inside his wig piece, dog. And that he looked dog. like when Martin fought Tommy Hearns for real. Yeah. Like he was, already was, got that yeah. wide face and the OC yeah. haircut. No, it was pickup jacks inside that Bama <laughs> wig piece, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it was just that man was getting rat rattle skedaddle all over the dog. He was doing whatever he wanted, bro. The Bama didn't even look like he had a fight at the end of the drink. You know how usually, especially with a discaliber. Both Bamas look like yeah, they yeah. was in a boxing match. He looked like he just yeah, went for a joke. Yeah. And then came home. Get, yeah, he ain't get touched like that at all, dog. I mean, I don't know what that feels like when you just you just supremely whooping your opponent like that, dog. You just that mechanic just it was no answers. It was no answers. Um, yeah, but yeah, Terrence Crawford, dog, put the pause on Errol Spence, dog. No question about it. Uh Name change back to Redskins, bro. They talking about it. I, I'm like, That's I don't know possible. why. It's not possible, dog. Please tell these these fans now, out skins, here. Skins, they could probably get away with it depending on how they <laughs> flip the. That's worse. Skins, that would be vicious because you could just flip that into so many different OC memes and stuff. But you would have to take the uh, Native American Bama off the helmet and make it like pig skin, or you know, it would have yeah. to be. I, I don't think Why they, don't they just use an R so they can stick even... with HTTR like Red Wolves. They go back and pay the money damn cheap ass they want to pay. Call yeah, them the Red I... Wolves and be done with it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think you can entertain the watch it. Like, I think that ship is sailed. And, you know, I don't, I mean, you know, fans don't, don't care about nothing. They just like, yeah, we, matter of fact, I, I don't know no American Indians, like, you know, Native Americans that, 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 um and, and their sentiment on the Joe, but like it feel like this new this new group, like it was an issue because it was damn. But the new group looked like they're getting a pass on anything, dog. Yeah, and I, so like I don't even know they probably. I even heard no like I I've heard the name being brought back up as as considerate. I mean, the owner group haven't said like we're going. You know, we're considering even the Washington Redskins again, but they haven't like closed the door on it. But. I haven't heard like Native Americans like jump up or like y'all better not use that name again. Like because it's nope. not a real thing. This is just idiots on the internet. Like that would kill a stadium deal in DC if they mm -hmm. went back to that name. So it's just, it's not possible. It's not feasible. It's mm -hmm. just ridiculousness and fans mm -hmm. feel like because they didn't think they could get rid of Dan, but they were able nah. to do it and it worked. So now they testing their powers. Like 
well, let me see if I could, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's really what they're doing, but it's not a logical thing to even try to do. They can't get a trademark for it because it's considered a slur. Uh-uh. So the team can't force all of the bread through the name to come to them. Anybody could sell Redskin shirts because you can't get a trademark for a slur. So it's just so many things where it wouldn't even be possible. Yeah, well, one thing is for sure, they're going to have to change the commander's name because they only got the patent and trademark trash. for that, Joe, and it's trash to begin with. It's just like, so, yeah, I've been thinking about different names, yeah. and y'all, if y'all got a name out there, put it in the comments, which I think they should should pivot the name to. Though, shout out my, my, my young boy, Christian. I'm like, I'm talking, to, I'm over their house this past week. I'm like, dog, what's some, what could they change the name to? He says, okay, we got the Nationals, we got the Capitals. What about the Federals? And you can have it as Feds for short. I was like, that joke might actually work. The Federals? Washington Federals? What you think? Nah, can't get with it. My first thought when you say Feds is police, so I'm going to say no off the break. (laughs) Because <laughs> we're about to say feds, I just think police. Hey, yeah. that's it. I get triggered. That's no, exactly what it is. That's a, <laughs> the feds, especially that's you know, that's what we call them in DC. Hey, yeah. We call them the feds. That's, a, that's the default. No, all break yeah. city, like, nah, dog, we can't. Be so it's not a bad feds. name, but it's just when you say feds, Bama's automatically think the police. No, <laughs> no, okay, no, I ain't rock, no, you rock with the feds. You know, Bama's would be trolling. <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, you with the federalities, dog. You know. <laughs> You would the federal, but I'm just saying from from a generic name. If it wasn't all that encapsulated with it, it would be it'd be all right. It'd be straight. Yeah, it'd be solid, and I'm it would try, be I'm aligned with to... the other teams and the yeah, uh, other. Yeah. Than That's the what I'm saying. Winners. Like that, yeah. Can that, they like, change the Wizards I, name too? No, that joint is trash. No, too. please, bro, please. They should have left it as the Bullets. I don't care what the violence is real, dog. Like, damn yeah, man. So. If y'all got a name, name they should they should change it to. What do y'all think? The uh the Red Wolves, red or what was tails. the other joke? The Red Tails, or they'll never do that. Or just go back to the Washington football team, which I thought that, was yeah. sweet. That joke. I was right. like, this joke sweet, dog. The gear was sweet, everything was the nice. Was I'm like, I'm like, dog, this joke right here. What what is you and you ain't gotta worry about and it made us unique it made us stand out because we was the only team that was just like washington football team and it just had its own little like swag to it bro and i'm like this jump right here rock instead of this fugazi commanders dog force, this jump force military a lot it was just trash. And, dog, and i know i know right um was you know doing his best and they kind of tasked him with an impro- impossible task to get a name but like, bro, you should have hollered at us, dog. We could have. I don't got believe you. this was all him. I don't. I just don't believe it, though. But Jason, right? He on. I mean, trust me, he's kind of owned some stuff that didn't belong to him. But the commanders, bro. Weak sauce. I could have told you, dog. You could have asked my grip. Nobody liked that joke. Nobody like. I don't know how you settle on a name that absolutely nobody likes. There was nothing. I ain't see on no polls like a, where commanders was like at the top of the list for names decided. Like I never saw it. Like at least with the Wizards Joe, you saw like there was a couple names and they had the Wizards in the Joe. And then you know, North Virginia, they came in through heavy for them Wizards and all like that. I'm like, this joke trash. But the commanders Joe, I just feel like they just plucked the name out of hat. I know there was some talks about different names, but I believe it's like a fake, like fake alliance with military that's all the drink was it's like a money grab mm-hmm. for them fans and their love and nostalgia for for police and military it's that's exactly what it was though that's exactly what it was because the name is trash okay but they try trash. to be like military without being it's just the drink is weak yeah no i they they gonna have to do something figure something out because yeah that 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 name is trash though um is the is the Hall of Fame game this week Thursday? I think it is. Dog, we back. We back, dog. What you what you think, Sam? How? Bama, apparently, Sam Howell looked like some garbage the other day in uh in practice. Dog, I'm telling you, y'all, calm down. He about to be seven and nine. About to be seven and nine, or eight eight and nine, whatever it is. Um, all right, let's go through these divisions real quick. Who gonna win this division? Bills, Dolphins, Patriots, Jets. I got the Jets. You got the Jets. 
they not beating the Bills, dog. All these teams are are solid except for the Patriots. I got I got the Bills as the one seed. I got the the Dolphins as the two seed. Jets is the three, and Patriots is the four. Yeah, if two is healthy, I have the Jets as the two and the Bills as the three. But if two is still having the same uh, head issues, pause that he was having last year, then I go mm-hmm. Jets, Bills, Dolphins, Patriots. Okay, okay. So we just went off there. Uh, Chiefs, Chargers, Raiders, Broncos. In that I order. got the Chiefs. <laughs> I got the Chiefs at the top. I got the Chargers, then Broncos, then Raiders. I think the Raiders are going to be sorry than the Broncos. Oh, I forgot they got Josh McDaniels. Yeah, let me flip that. So I'm going to go same order. Chiefs, Chargers, Broncos, Raiders. Yeah, okay. Then we got uh, South. You got the Jaguars, Titans, Colts, and Texans. Uh, I got the Jags as the one. I got the Texans, as, Titans as the two. I got the Texans as the three. And then the Colts is the four. Same order. Yeah. Colts going to have uh, the number one pick coming up this year. Yeah, they I wouldn't already, be surprised. Football ain't even started. They already working on that. Yeah. Uh, Then we got the Bengals, Ravens, Steelers, and Bron- Browns. I, I Honestly, personally, I think it's the hardest division in football. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's, it's no question. You got four Pro Bowl caliber quarterbacks for each team. Do you? Uh, with the exception of the Steelers, oh. but but I think that uh, Pickett will be much improved, uh, and I yeah. think he'll probably take a leap into the upper echelon. Well, I, when I say upper echelon, I'm talking about like with the Kirk Cousins in them, like that yeah, the that, of the that above at above average, middle of the tier, yeah. Which is which is I mean a lot of a lot of teams would die for a quarterback in that in that space, um, and I think the Steelers have excellent coaching, so. If you have a quarterback at that status, you can still be like competitive because you have a team built around him. So, um, so I, I think for this division, I got the I got the Ravens as the one. I got the Bengals as the two, Steelers as the three, Browns as the four. But uh, I, only reason I had the Bengals is two because this uh, this injury to the calf of uh, Joe Burrow, I just that just scares me though. When Bama's calf muscles is messed up and getting hurt, it's just, I, I don't know. It just doesn't make me feel comfortable. Yeah. Especially if like he had Ravens. knee injury and stuff like that. I just. Yeah. With the getting, uh, what's the receiver? Ba- Bateman? Rashad Bateman? Is that the mm-hmm. guy they drafted in the first round? They getting him back this year. They added mm-hmm. Odell. They should have a real adult offense and passing game this year. So mm-hmm. I'm going to go Ravens one, Bengals two. Steelers three and Browns Brown. four. Now I think this division will will be closer than 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 not. Like yeah. I don't think Ravens and that could will still be two games apart from, yeah. from top to bottom. You know. Yeah, I, I I think I think the Browns will be at nine and eight, just around you know, just above five hundred. Which Steelers didn't make the playoffs last year, and they were nine and eight. So. You know, it's just it's just the nature of the division, how difficult it is. So, but I, I think I think the Browns will still be in the mix. They did get better uh, on offense and defense. I think Deshaun, a whole year of you know fresh year training camp under his belt, he he will look much much better. Uh, all right, then we got the Eagles, Cowboys, Giants, and Commanders. Ah, I think it's still that order. I I so this is. This is how I, I foresee. I got the Eagles number one. I got the Giants two. I got the Cowboys three, and then the Commanders four. I think the I think the Giants are gonna flip flop with the Cowboys. Um, and you know I I I, don't, I think it'll still be close. It won't be like like the the Giants win twelve games and the Cowboys win nine. Like I just think it'll be like ten wins or nine wins and just. You know, barely put the Giants above the above the Cowboys. Yeah, I just think differently because I think the Giants going to take a step back for re-signing the quarterback uh, mm-hmm. at that number, and then not trying to pay Saquon. So I think there's going to be some, uh, not totally split, but a little bit of a split in the locker room, mm-hmm. especially if Daniel Jones ends up coming out and not being able to perform at a forty million dollar pace. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, you're going to have to rely on Saquon, and if there's an injury, anything, I just see. 
just some bad decision making for me in the off season mm-hmm. is going to lead them to take a step back to where I could even see them being fourth place, just mm-hmm. depending on what Sam Howell ends up doing. But mm-hmm. okay, okay. Uh, Vikings, Lions, Packers, Bears. Uh, a lot of people got the Lions at the top of the food chain. I'm uh, actually going to put. Street. I'm actually going to say that the Vikings stay at one, Lions at two, Packers at three, and Bears at four. I'm going to go Bears one, Lions two. Really? So you're a believer in Justin Fields, actually? From the gate. Okay. I just think he needed an adult offensive coordinator and real weapons, and they finally decided to try to help build around the Batman this year. So I'm going to say the Bears make a huge jump. Okay. Packers are going to be ass. They're going to be ass without Aaron Rodgers. Um, and I think the Lions are well coached. I don't love um, – what's your man name? Jared Goff. Mm-hmm. But they were able to win nine games last year, and I think mm-hmm. – I just think they'll be a little bit better than what they were. So I'm going to go – and you know what I think about Kirk. So Vikings three, Packers four. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bucks, Panthers, Saints, Falcons. All these bands being last place. God damn. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with this will surprise you. I'm gonna put the Saints at one. I'm gonna put the oh, they got Derek Carr. I would agree. They, I would they agree. got Derek Carr and they don't play none of the top quarterbacks, dog. This year. This schedule is a easy bake oven, bro. I think the hardest quarterback they play on their schedule is Kirk Cousins, dog. They don't yeah, play I, Josh I, Allen, they don't play Pat Mahomes, they don't play none of the Bamas, dog. Name the top Bamas. Yeah, they, they don't play, they don't play nobody. Trash. Is this the worst yeah, division in football? Yeah, it might be. Now it is, for sure. I, I'm going with the Saints. I'm going with the, the Panthers, Buccaneers, and then Falcons. Who's the quarterback for the Panthers and the Falcons? Panthers got the and rookie, Bucks. Bryce Young. Oh, Falcons yeah, they did get got, Bryce Young. Got, got Desmond Ritter. Trash. And the Bucks got Baker Mayfield. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and yeah, the Saints got Derek Carr. I'm just going with the best quarterback yeah. in the bunch. I'm going to go Derek Carr and then roll the dice on <laughs> the rest of these bounces. Yeah. Uh, and then the last division, uh, NFC West, San Francisco, Seattle, Rams, and Cardinals. Um, I, I, I like the 49ers at one. Seahawks at two. I think everything remains the same. Um, I think the Rams get better and they they win more games, but I still don't have them being better than the Seahawks or the 49ers. Yeah, I would flip that and put the Rams in last place. Mm, Uh, You got the Cardinals? I think the Cardinals will be much improved this year. They should have an adult coaching this year. I can't Mm -hmm. remember who they draft. I mean, who they hired. Is the uh yeah, Eagles yeah, assistant, yeah, right? yeah the defensive coordinator for the eagles yeah um so i'd have the eagles i mean the not Cardinals the eagles third. Mm-hmm. and i'm you're not I gonna put the seahawks down there eh? i was gonna put the seahawks at one okay but no i think you're right i think san fran right now is still um yeah they still the top of the food the chain seahawks. yeah not much, but they. Much. I think. I think. I think they still have. I think the quarterback more. position is still iffy. Like I know everybody loved what was that? Uh, Brock Purdy. Yeah, everybody loved him. I didn't necessarily. I think he he did a good job filling in, but I don't know mm-hmm. that he's a guy that you can rely. He's the guy. On. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the rookie guy, uh, Trey Lance. Mm-hmm. Not rookie, but the the young dude. I just don't know that he necessarily is ready to come in. Um, mm-hmm. And if you're not ready playing with Kyle at this point. You never gonna be ready. The arrow is trending down, and I just like what Gino was able to do last year. I think he's gonna be even better. Mm-hmm. Um, they read read him up, showed him some confidence, um, and they always steady. So I, I I might go on a limit. I'm gonna go ahead and say Seattle gonna win that division this year. Okay. I talk All right. Into it. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, follow us at OSS 980 at Other Side of Sports. Uh, shout out to Wes Buffy, shout out to Sports Talk Tasha, shout out to Lance J Radio, shout out to Jenna Garcia, shout out to everybody who rock with us heavy. Please share the content, subscribe. Uh, you want to donate some bread? Go ahead, uh, 
uh, Cash App, OSS980. Whatever you want to do, we here for it. Uh, Aaron, anything else? Nothing I can think of. We out.